Hey guys, what's up? I'm Slim and you're watching Slimothy TV. In this video, I have a pretty cool one for you guys. We're going to be taking a look at the good AAA 45,800 milliamp hour solar power bank. Now this one does have a trick up its sleeve, which is the hand crank. Yes, this can be hand cranked as well. So this is kind of like the ultimate final stage boss of <laughs> solar power banks. You guys know we've reviewed two other ones uh, very similar to this. One of them was a good AAA brand. I think the other one might've been too. So this is like the ultimate one. If you wanted to max out your solar power bank needs, this is the way to go. So very simple box here. You guys can see if you want to read up on that, you can do that. But anyways, we're going to go ahead. We're going to open this right up and take a look at this power bank. It already feels pretty heavy in the box. We've got a happy, unhappy card. We've also got a welcome guide, which hopefully we don't need. But hey, it's always nice that they include these. This one is pretty dang big, actually. So there are some of the product details. If you want to know the specs, you guys can pause that, take a look. But let's go ahead and pull this thing out. And here's a bit more information if you want to read that. And here we go with the charger. Oh my goodness, this is a chungus. And it comes with a USB-C to USB-C cable. That is awesome. I love to see that. A silica packet for the trolls. We also have a carabiner clip. Other than that, nothing else in the box. We can set that off to the side. And here we go. I am super excited to try this one out. And whoa. Looks like I already <laughs> pulled off that cap there. And right here you can see there's a little sun looking icon. That means that it is solar charging. You guys can see from my studio lights, that already gets it going. So we'll set this here. So let's take a quick look around this device. This thing, like I said, it's pretty big. Let me grab the iPhone 14 Pro just for size comparison. This is not the Pro Max, this is the smaller phone. But yeah, this thing is pretty big and thick. So keep that in mind, but definitely something that you might wanna take uh, on a hiking trip or even just a road trip just to have. But this is for the hand generator right here. Let's go ahead and see how that works. And you guys can see those lights right there. When I start doing this, it actually tells me the status of the battery. So it's pretty close right now. So this is legitimately putting some power in there. So that's cool. Let's go ahead and put that back. Those lights go off and then you just kind of snap this on. Uh, this is a little bit floppy. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong here. Okay, I think I got it there. It's a little bit better now. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing wrong there. We also have a little mini compass, which is definitely nice to see. On the back here, we have a Qi wireless charger, which is ridiculous. Most chargers do not have that. We also have three output cables. We have lightning cable, if you have an old iPhone, USB-C for the new iPhone or Android, whatever, and also micro USB for, I guess, Android. You also have, I believe this is an import. Let's see, it doesn't say in on it, but I think this is an input. Uh, it might be both. Here is a little bit more information right there. Here we have the power button, which if I press it one time, it just loads it up. If I press and hold it again, it should turn on the flashlight. There we go. Pretty darn bright. This one is probably the brightest we've tested so far. Looking good. Turn that off. And then at the front here, it says USB. And you guys can see there is a USB-C slot, two USB-As, and gosh, is that a lightning port? That might actually be a lightning port right there. All right. So it looks like right here you can see wireless charging is enabled. So let's grab the iPhone 14 Pro. Looks like it just turned off. Let's see if it automatically turns itself back on. It does not. So we will go ahead and press power. And there it goes. And voila, we have MagSafe compatible charging. That is awesome. It even has the animation. Are you kidding me? And now it has the blue light to let you know that it's charging up. Let's take that off one more time. Let's test this again. Because most of these do not have the MagSafe logo, because I'm pretty sure that costs extra for them to bake in and they do it. So this thing is legit. MagSafe charging has a light to let you know it's charging. It's very stable on there. Actually, this is the most stable of all of them that we've done with this ring right here, kind of holds it in place. I really do like that. It just gives you peace of mind knowing that your phone is going to stay on there while it's charging. Now, of course, we do have to just test this. This is not MFI certified. So there are very few videos that I do where I will show a non MFI certified lightning cable. But for the sake of this video, you guys can see it does charge up just fine. But again, use at your own risk. It's not MFI certified. But I know plenty of people that use non MFI certified cables and they've been just fine. It's just me. I like to use them if they're certified. All right. So what's not to like about this? Well, almost everything about this is good. I mean, it's a big thing. You can't get around that. If you want all of this power, you're going to have to have a big case size. I mean, this is pretty thick. It's got some heft to it. Let's talk about this solar panel. So when you have a solar panel on a battery this big, it's going to take forever to charge this up with the sun. 
this is pretty much just meant for emergencies. So if you're thinking you're gonna go out in the woods with this and you know keep recharging it every day, it's not gonna happen. This is a huge battery and it's gonna take a long time for the sun to recharge it. Now for the hand crank, I don't know how long that's gonna take. I imagine it's a little bit faster than the solar. Let me see if they mention that in the booklet here. All right, so here it is guys, you can see solar charging input is, you can see it's 0.23 amps with light intensity greater than 25,000 lux. And then for the hand crank, it's pretty much just double that 0.4 amps with rotational speed of 120 per minute. So you'd have to crank it, you know, twice a second to get that speed. So you're gonna have to really be cranking it. Again, if you do crank it about th this speed, you're going to charge it about twice as fast as solar. I don't know if it does both at once. It doesn't really say that, but I doubt it. Maybe if you leave this at your camp during the day while you're out and you know, let it charge in the sun and then at night crank it, uh, you can get some decent charge from that, but it's gonna take a while. I highly recommend you charge this up fully before you go anywhere from the wall. So you're gonna go ahead, open this up, just charge it up and, and get it as full as you can. Now, obviously this can charge multiple things at once. That is not a problem for this device, uh, but I think most people are just gonna use the wireless charger on this because it's just so convenient. Um, it's just a no brainer to use that. But if you wanted to wireless charge and then charge an iPhone, another iPhone or Android phone, you could definitely do that with this thing. But yeah, the only thing so far that I don't like about this device is that this flap keeps opening, but that's such a minor annoyance. And I'm sure there's a DIY way I could fix that. So not a big deal at all. Now let's talk about the price of this thing. Prices change all the time on Amazon, but right now it looks like you can pick this up for 50 bucks with a $10 off coupon which is almost a no brainer for this. If you don't yet have a solar charger, you might wanna pick one of these up for an emergency situation. You know, if there's a flood, a fire, tornado, hurricane, whatever natural disaster, your electricity might be out. And how are you gonna contact anyone if you don't have a phone? So having one of these around could actually save your life. Consider picking one of these up if you like what you see here. This has seven outputs and five inputs. The flashlight can actually do SOS and strobe. And the fact that it can work with pretty much any phone and just top it up or, you know, give it a full charge if you need. I mean, this iPhone's like what? 3,200 milliamp hours or something like that. This is 45,000. So this can charge this phone. Even if we include a 30% loss of power, you know, just due to transmission and battery and everything, we're still talking many, many charges for this iPhone with just this device. And you could charge other people's phones as well all at once because it has so many inputs and outputs. Definitely check this out. Links to it down below. Big thank you and shout out to Good AAA for sending this out free for review. If you liked the video, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.